After a two wee gab since AW Collision is back tonight and we're back with a preview. It's a slow news day, but guess what? Will Osprey, Daniel Bryan returning to action tonight, Saturday, May 11th. We're in Vancouver and apparently Tony Khan might also be in the building as well. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling and we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it and there's a lot to get through. Did I say there was anything good to get through? Not particularly, but uh, we've got a full match card so to speak, and we'll, uh, we'll get through it. But anyway, let's begin, shall we, with a dynamite kid, Tommy Billington, taking on Dax Hart. <sighs> what? Whoa, 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 they fell asleep there, Billy, what? Billy, Tom, Billy, 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 dynamite kid, hey, what's going on there, man? What, what, what is that? Dynamite kid, Tommy Billington. Who, who's going to tune in to watch this? Tommy Billington? Tommy Billington. So, I mean, what? Sounds like a character, I don't know. Red Dead Redemption or something, or PK Blinders just sounds like a big load of shite, but uh, taking on Dax Harwood, <sighs> don't like Dax Harwood, right, and he's a jobber, but this is as one-sided as a match as, a, as, it's going to, as, it, as, it, as it's going to get, to be perfectly honest, so Dax Harwood is going to win, his wee tag team buddy will be out there, but Dax Harwood will still be thinking about Uncle Eric while this match is going on, because he can't get Uncle Eric out of his head. La la la. Anyway, next match got Brian Danielson and Claudio Castanogli taking on, damn it. Top flight. What we got? What have we got going on here? I'll tell you what, Daniel Bryan and Claudio are going to win this match. Top flight are shite. They've done nothing. Like, we're looking at tag teams now, right? That have, like, nearly existed in AEW for, like, more years than what the Attitude Era went on. It's bizarre to think AEW has nearly been around five years and, like, what have they achieved? Absolutely nada, but I tell you what, they're going to win. Daniel Bryan, you know, they're going to want to build him up strong for that pay-per-view jobber fest that's going to go on very soon. Uh, let's talk about it, though. Adam Copeland taking on Kyle O'Reilly in the Cope Open for the TNT Championship. So... These two are backstage. Adam Copeland told him, you got to look at my face, Kyle, when you're talking to me, player. So, yeah, of course, um, O'Reilly returned to television. Well, he did, but he technically returned on pay-per-view. AEW Revolution in early March. So he's back, he's here, and he's ready to lay the smackdown. But he's against Edge here. <sighs> Edge out lose to Kyle O'Reilly, folks, all right? Kyle O'Reilly looks like a child. Edge looks like a star. It is what it is, right? You can't spit it. Edge is not going to lose the belt to this guy. I would be, honestly, I'd be absolutely shocked if Edge lost tonight. He's not. This Cope Open is, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just not I'm just not digging the Cope Open, man. The Cope Open just, it's just a bunch of jobbers taking on Adam Copeland, like, at the end of the day. And these, like, overly long, drawn-out matches that just don't need to last that long. Like, that is really what's going on here. It is just an absolute jobber fest. Um, but Edge will win. It'll probably go about 20 minutes. So it might... I mean, the quarter might be all right, decent enough, but I tell you what, for the most part, it's not going to be the rest of this show. Collision two weeks ago, I mean, it started with... 1.4 1, 1. 1. it was in, and then it quickly nosedived, talking a nosedive, and we've got Lee, 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 Moratti taking on Will... Osprey, Will Osprey returns again, AEW, it's a, don't know you like doing this, but, I mean, these guys aren't even part-time, Will Osprey's on a lot of money, Okada's on a lot of money, like, why, why is Will Osprey not appearing to, like, 20 days after the last pay-per-view there, like, what, what's the excuse for that? Because he's he sure enough, he's sure enough not on a part-time, he shouldn't be on a part-time schedule like Brock Lesnar, man, that is for sure, and if he is, then they need to sort it out, because it's no good enough. Um, but Will Ospreay's a job over right here. He'll win this match, wouldn't he? I mean, he, Kenny Omega was firing shots at him. Oh, he claims to be the king of Japan, but if I went to Uganda, I'd be the king of Uganda. They're just talking absolute mince about who does the best flips and the best gymnastics. Get in the bin. Anyway, this card looks absolute rubbish, but it's AEW Collision. I mean, it's a, it's Dynamite Light. That's pretty much what it is. But you know what? You say that, you've got an Edge title match, and you've got Daniel Bryan in action. What else could you ask for? Turns out a hell of a lot more, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, that is it here for Fog Wrestling. Be back later on 
some more content. Until then, peace.